shiny, happy people. Welcome to Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim, and if you're new here, hello. And if you're back, thanks guys. So I have been talking about this video uh, in my other videos. And um, if you've seen my other videos and you know what's happening here, or you have an idea, I, um, been trying to make this video. I have actually shot this video twice last week. Uh, I just did an update, so all of this has been seen before. This is, nothing is new here. So I'm starting on this square for my week nine, or yeah, week nine progress, right? <laughs> and um, so I just went this way, I finished here, and now I'm gonna go back this way. I, um, and the whole point of this video is I, I wanted to show you guys how I diamond paint on a max color canvas. So this canvas is from Diamond Painting Deutschland. It is a Josephine wall and Diamond Painting Deutschland is known for their max color canvases. And basically this is, uh, 225 colors. So I have all my colors over here. Okay. And I'm going to show you how I do this because it really is very stress-free for me. It's um, literally, it is like working on any other canvas. It really feels that way for me. And I want to show you why it's, it is that way. What are the steps I took to um, make the actual diamond painting process stress-free and to show you guys that anyone can do these. Like I've seen so many comments of, oh, I've always wanted to do a diamond painting Deutschland, but you're afraid, or you know, you think that it's going to be too much for you. I truly believe anyone can do this if they set it up properly. So it did take me four days um, to kit this up, okay? It took me four days. And the reason is, is I took a lot of time when I got my, um, here, when I got my sheets, okay, and there's three of them, I Xeroxed them twice, and I took a lot of time organizing the symbols. So you have to, you have to do what's best for you. You have to do it in a way that makes sense for you so that, um, you know, your brain can work the way it thinks. I'm going to tell you that if you do it in DMC order, it will take you longer. It just will. Okay. If you, if you organize your drills in a DMC order and, and, and that's how you have to do it because that's how you think, then it is going to take you longer because you are going to have to reference this sheet of three pages of, um, of colors and, and they are in DMC order, but you're going to have to find the symbol to figure out, I mean, you're gonna have to look through potentially 225 symbols to figure out which DMC number it is. It is going to be a lot of looking for colors, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, the way I organize my drills, and there's a complete kit up. There's, it's a two part, um, video, uh, where I'm kidding up, but I, and I go into some detail of this next Josephine wall that I get from diamond painting Deutschland. I'm going to take you guys through my entire process. Okay. But, um, I just wanted to show you, I got this idea and I'm going to tell you where I got these ideas because I'm not going to take credit for them, but I watched a ton of videos on diamond painting Deutschland and max color canvases. And I took all of the tips that made the most sense to me and seemed the most logical to me, and I used them, okay? And the first tip that I took was I organized all of these in symbols, okay? And I got that tip from Diamonds and Washi, from Katie. And, uh, and it was a, an extremely helpful essential tip. You can make your categories 
in any way that makes sense to you, okay? And I will just tell you real quickly what my categories are, okay? My categories are squares and diamonds because diamonds are essentially squares turned sideways. This is miscellaneous, so if I didn't know where to put that, I put it here. This is um, people, human faces, body parts. Transportation, use, weather, or sky. And then this was just an extra because it actually took up two full slots. So I put it at the end of a, a compartment that I had room for. Um, triangles, letters and numbers, and crosses. Transport or um, technology, office, arrows, and uh, nature. Tech technology and tools, or I'm sorry, tools, because this is technology, tools, lines, and foods and drink. Okay, that's how I um, organized it. Now, the second thing I did was I made a rule, and I always refer back to this rule if I have a hard time finding, uh, a color and it's only happened once that I've had a hard time finding a color and I'll show you which one it is I'm looking at it right now it's this one okay it's like a magnifying glass with a plus in the middle so my number one rule was when I was organizing these is if there was two symbols in a symbol I always took the one that was in the middle and I used that one to organize it with and I'll show you an example the one that I just had, okay? It's a circle with a plus in the middle. And I could not find this because I was like magnifying glass. Did I, did I put it in tools? So I was looking in tools, it wasn't in tools. Then I was looking in circles because you know I have a little circle one and it wasn't in circles. And I was going back and, and I just could not find it. It's in the bottom, in the end, next to a blank container and uh, I, I was scratching my head and then I went back to my rule and I'm like, wait a minute, there's a plus sign. It must be in crosses. And sure enough, it was. There's another one of these, a magnifying glass. See, it's a magnifying glass with a minus sign in it and it went into lines. So I could have put them next to each other, right? But I used that rule and that's very helpful I'll show you another example of that rule. Here's a circle with a triangle in it. So I, 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 use, I made that rule because my eye goes right to the triangle. That's the first thing I see, it's right in the middle. So that's where I categorized it. A square with a triangle in it. So again, I put it in triangles. Okay, so that's, um, that's pretty much the only rule that I made and I can refer back to that rule if I'm having a hard time finding something, okay? The other tip that was extremely crucial and helpful was from Emeralds and Fairy Lights and it was to use these specific containers. Guys, I know people don't like these containers, but I'm not sure why. These are my favorite containers. They make diamond painting so easy. Um, and honestly, I'm going to try to kit up a normal diamond painting in these and see how it works. Um, so these containers have 56 slots in each box, okay? There's 280 containers here. There's 56 in each um, box. There's four to a strip. There's seven in each um, side and 14 together, okay? Um, 
And so that equals 56 in each box. What I did and what I find, it is not necessary, and this took a lot of time, was I figured out which bags had a lot of drills in them and I made extra slots for them because I, I only have 225 colors, but there's um, 280 slots. So I, I thought to myself, let me use them all. But it is not necessary, guys. It would have just been as easy if I had just used one box per symbol. Actually, it would have been easier, okay? Because um, I am emptying them as I go. For example, like I said, this, this symbol here, I used all eight containers, okay? And I've emptied this one, and now I'm on this one, and then I'll empty this, and there's no backup bag. But I never use a whole container in one square. So it's never like I empty a container and I'm like, I have to go into my backup drills. That has never happened. I've had to go into each container multiple, multiple, multiple times um, for multiple squares before I went on to the next one and then the next one and then the next one. So it would have just, it would have been easier if I had just done one symbol per, um, per bag, okay? And I recommend, I recommend doing that. I'm going to do that for my next one because it did take a lot of time to figure out which had the most, how many slots I'm gonna give it. Like this one I gave two, this one I gave four, this one I gave two. But then you also have to count how many, like, okay, what can fit where. So it that's what really, really made it super long kit up is trying to figure out how to fit the categories in the boxes and give everything all their little extra drills because I wanted to use every single compartment that was the goal but it it was it was a, an unnecessary goal okay so um I won't be doing that again because it just adds to the headache and it's again you never run through all the colors now what I also did was, here's my backup drills. Okay, so I had I emptied um, three of these since I put these backup drills to the side. So you can see I I essentially kitted up almost all of it um, using these little boxes. But I did have backups for some, and what I did was is I just put a little star on the container in pencil uh, if I have backup drills for this color. And what I do is, is once I fill it and I empty the bag, I erase it. So now I know that there is no more backups for that color. And I'm looking for an example. Okay, this guy. I don't know if you can see, there used to be a star there and I've since erased it because I've emptied all of the backup drills in here. So now I have none in that plastic bag, okay? That's something I came up with and I find very, very helpful. Um, for example, this guy, again, I had a star there. I was like running out and I started getting nervous and I thought, oh, wait a minute, let me look. And I, sure enough, I had a star. So I knew I didn't have to worry about it. Um, so that's just one of my tips. Now, I'm gonna show you the square co close up that I'm gonna, I'm, I, and this is, I'm not gonna do the whole square. I, the reason why I did not like the previous videos that I shot was they were over, they were um, almost two hours long. They were over two hours long because of like all the talking. And um, I shot the entire square and it was boring, guys. <laughs> Just, you know, I, I mean, it was, it was boring. So, um, and it was just un, unnecessarily long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a few colors. I want you to see, and it, you're not gonna be close up because I want you to see me shuffle through these boxes. I want you to see how easy it is to 
um, switch colors and to go back into a box should you miss something. I miss colors all the time, but it is not, um, it is not time consuming to just hop back into a box here and pull that color out. If you use a different type of storage system, it will be. Okay, I'm, I'm going to just be honest with you and tell you that if you use the Tic Tac box system, you are not getting your pen in a Tic Tac box. You're going to have to pour it into a tray and, you know, hopefully only get one and it's going to take more time as opposed to popping open up a container and pulling out one. That's why these containers are, in my opinion, essential to making this easier. The only drawback about these containers are that, you know, the fear of dropping one, because should you drop one, you're losing 56 colors, okay? Because they will all open up. Um, I don't think any container thing, except for maybe the Elizabeth Ward, would be safe to drop anyway. Like, I mean, I certainly wouldn't want to drop. I mean, I, I don't know, but these, while they do close very nicely and stay shut, you know, um, they would absolutely pop open should you drop them. So just be aware of that. So I'm very careful of when I'm moving this off of my table onto my table. Um, when I first started diamond painting on this canvas up the top, you know, I had to roll it up and these never sat on the canvas, but at this point I have no choice um, because this is how far I am into the canvas. So if I get up, I move them off of the canvas just in case, God forbid, the canvas gets pulled down. I don't want my boxes to get pulled down. So you just have to, um, you know, be careful as with any diamond painting. So that's the only drawback um, of using these, but I'm, I just, I'm going to use these for all of my diamond painting Deutschlands. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at this square. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit here and I'll move the square over. So you can see there certainly is definitely some repetitive um, colors you know, and then it, it can be a confetti mess, okay? So I'm gonna, um, I'm not going to do the repetitive colors first. Normally I would. The way that I normally would diamond paint this is I would look for the color that I see the most of and get that out of the way, especially if it's easy to distinguish from the other colors. And the ones that are easy for me to distinguish from the other colors would be the ones that have a lot of white in them. So like the flying saucer, um, the double sheet of paper, the cog wheel, like those would be the ones that I would do first, but I'm not gonna do that today for you guys. I'm gonna go into this confetti heavy area and I'm gonna do a few colors and show you how I shuffle through the boxes real quick. And when I miss one, cause I will, <laughs> um, how I just hop back into that box. And grab it out, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to, because I want you guys to be able to see the boxes. It's important that you see the boxes. Okay, and if you want, I will take screenshots or I will take a, a photo, a close up of all my boxes and put them in a video so you can 
look at the way I organize them with, um, you know, and I'll, I'll put the, the category name of each section in the, the photo for you. If that's something you're interested in, I don't mind sharing the way I organize this. I mean, you can do a straight copycat or you can, you know, use it for, and I, I can explain why each symbol landed into that area. Okay, so the first color I'm gonna do is something that, um, I feel like will be easy for me to miss so I can go back and do it again for you. And it's gonna be alien face. So I have to find, I call it alien face. You'll, you'll end up nicknaming these. And so I know, I know because I've used these boxes multiple times now, where the categories are in the box as far as is it top left, bottom right, whatever. So alien face is under faces, people, and body parts. And I know that it's on the bottom right. So I can see right away these three don't have that. And so I'm just going to move it over to look at the bottom here. And here it is. An alien face is right here. Number 991. So I always use, I keep this close. I always use just a regular basic tray that you get free um, because you're, I don't multi-place on this canvas and you, I don't need a ton, a ton of drills. So I just use one of these. They, they slide in and out very easily. Um, it's very easy to control. And, it, and personally, I just think that it's easier. So um, I section these uh, sections off using the grid lines that are on the canvas. Um, I know you're high up now, but there's, there's 10 by 10 grid lines on the canvas and I do four 10 blocks and then three 10 blocks, four, four across, three down. And um, I look in the 10 by 10 block for my, my uh, symbol. That does not mean that I'm not going to miss anything, trust me. I do all the time. Also, um, another diamond painter, I think it was the Crafty Diamond, uh, mentioned that her diamond painting Deutschland did not have grid lines. Um, so if that's the case, then you would have to section it off like you would any diamond painting, you know. That's all that I see of that one. Now I'm going to do um, that one hourglass with the plus symbol. I did see it. I'm sorry, that's my stomach. <laughs> I um I just woke up, I haven't eaten breakfast. And I just wanted to shoot this video real quick so I could um, work on this today. 
I didn't want to, um, okay, so now I'm going to do the other cross, which I know is in the cross area, 367. So it's this one. Looks like there's a decent amount of these. So you see, sometimes there is just one or two, and sometimes there's uh, quite a few of them. So I, I shot another, it's probably going to get posted first, Mystery Square, last night. <clears throat> By the time you see this, you probably have already seen that. Although this would be a lot easier to edit than that. I might edit this video today first. So I, I, if there's a cluster, I will do like a checker, like a mini checkerboard. Wait, that has a nub. And this is diamond, I mean, um, double-sided adhesive, but I can slide my drills. I know people say you cannot slide your drills at all on double-sided adhesive. But I, I have been able to slide my drills, you know, a short way. Okay, that's all I see of those. So now I'm going to pull out the letter C. And I know letters and, oh, it's in the same box. So it's right here, 3848. Just because this one seems like, um, see, the letters and the numbers, they kind of stand out to me. There is all of these up here too. I'm just gonna real quick do them. Um, I'm only gonna do a few colors just to show you how I go through these boxes. Um, And you see how easy they are. These are very easy to flip open, shut. The storage system is, is so good. Now the Elizabeth Ward, you could use those mini ones. You could use, uh, what is it? I guess 90 in each tray, but it would be a hassle to have to pop those containers open, you know, as often as you have to. And, you know, oh, you see something you missed, popping those containers open. What a pain in the butt that would be. So, 
That's why I don't recommend them. You definitely want to use a system that you can dip your diamond painting pen in and grab out a drill. Um, so the, what are they? I, I just started using one for Harry Potter, Harbor Freights. I mean, those you definitely can do that with, but they only have 24 in a box. So, you're, you know, I would be looking at using 10 of them. I mean, that's 10 boxes. That's, that's a little much too. So, um, okay. We're going to go into tools and I'm going to get out the green pickaxes. Wow. See, I see a bunch of C's I missed. So I'm just going to, I, I guess I didn't even look over here to pop them down. I And I'll do that. Like I will stop what I'm doing and pop in the ones I missed when I see them. You, you certainly don't have to do that, you know, diamond paint however you want, but that's how I like to do it. So you see how easy that was? I saw that I missed some and I went ahead and just filled them in. You know, again, if that was the Elizabeth Ward, it would have been pop and open the container, it would have been a lot of work. I see a cross that I missed. So again, just shuffle this over, grab out the cross. up here here it is and keep going with my pickaxes I think that's all the pickaxes. I'm only gonna do one more color for you guys. I think you're getting the gist of things here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the moon. So I know the moon, oh, it's right here. And that's another nice thing. Since I have three, like right on top, like I have, I'm like looking at what, 112, 152, 170 or 160 colors right on top. Something like that, right? <laughs> Not the best at math, but okay. So I'm gonna do the moon. There's one here. Another one here. This is also why I don't want to do a um, whip and chat with this canvas because it is a lot of concentrating, I feel. 
All right, that's all the moon, but I actually see another cross that I missed. So I'm gonna put this away, go back into my crosses and pop that in like that. So I think you guys get the idea um, that yes, it's very confetti heavy, but it's very manageable, especially if you organize the drills in a way that makes sense to you. Um, if I were to keep going in front of this camera for you guys, I would do this, the green circle with a line through it. And that would be under lines because it's a circle with a line through it. And that's over here. I don't know if you can see that that's over here. So again, I know that lines are in the top right, so I would, this was covering it, I would be looking at the top right. It's not here, it's not here, it's not here. They're not here. So then I would know it's over here and grab that one, okay? So I hope you guys like this video. I hope that maybe it took some um, maybe fears away of doing a max color canvas uh, if you have any questions, please don't uh, be shy about it. You can ask me any questions that you have. And if you would like screenshots with the names of the categories I used, I will take, or not screenshots, but pictures. I take very close up pictures so you can see the numbers and everything and see how I organized it and build off of that um, or just use it as a reference um, to kind of get your mind working in a way that makes sense to you. Um, and that's all I have for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And, uh, if you want to see more from me, you can hit that subscribe button. If you have any, uh, recommendations or requests for a video, please feel free to leave those in the comments. I do get back to every single comment. Uh, it might take me a few days because I'm very busy, but I will definitely reach back out to you. Okay, guys. All right. You guys take care and keep diamond painting.